this is Jill from Paper Daisy Crafting. Jo join, thank you for joining me again today. And today our card, I don't know why I didn't get it out before, our card is this one. This is a card that I made for the Pootlers um, blog hop. Um, we Every time there's a new catalogue we have a blog hop and it's to use the new products in the new catalogue. And so this was mine. I have used the Floral Essence stamp set, which is this one and I've just used that little stamp there which coordinates with this punch which is called the perennial flower punch and punches out that stamp set that stamp perfectly and then what I've done is I've layered two on two on top of each other to get the six petal flowers so I'm going to show you how I made my card starting off with a Bermuda Bay base which is here measures um 15 by 6 no 15 by 21 centimeters or 6 by 8 and a quarter inches my usual card base um and then i'm going to score this at 10 and a half centimeters or four and an eighth if you're in um working in imperial so there's my score to make my card base um there we go in my bone folder and just give that a burnish right and then um i've just realized i'm not terribly organized here today um and then i'm going to um do my stamping so i've got a strip of um, melon mambo i've got my stamp mounted up on the block and i need my versamark um, stamp pad and i'm going to stamp two of the flowers in Versamark and then I'm just going to come in with clear embossing powder and just cover those in clear embossing powder sometimes I use a spoon but it's easier just to scoop it up on the card there we go forgot to use my embossing buddy beforehand which means I've got speckles but it doesn't matter because they're going to be put switched out so there you go right and then I'm going to bring in my heat gun and just watch the magic as that clear powder turns into very nice shiny um, images always helpful if you do it on a long piece of card like this which means your fingers won't be too close to this, the heat gun Otherwise you get burned fingers. Ask me how I know. There we go. Doesn't take many minutes at all. There. don't know if you can see in the camera how really glossy and shiny that image is. Can you see how that is really glossy? So then we're going to come in with the punch. Always use the punches upside down so that you can see where you're punching. Place it in. Line it up and then do a false grab so I've got it there I've not cut but I've got it grabbed and then when you're sure that it's in the right place just punch it out and the other one so for each color you choose to use you'll use you'll need two for each flower um, as I said on in my blog I've used nice dual colors um, and this one rich very rich bright colors you could do it in a pale version I think it'd be really nice in a pale version um but i decided to go with these very rich colors right and so then you need your tear and tape because um glue won't stick these because it's very very glossy so if you try and use tombow or anything it won't work so you need a tiny bit of tear and tape in the center of each of these flowers so i've already done yellow and and i've done daffodil delight and Bermuda bay so yellow and turquoise so, and one more in the middle there. I'm going to bring in my tweezers to take the backing off the tear and tape. And then, oh, I'm, I, I don't know if you, I didn't say this while I was doing it, but I've just curled the, the petals up slightly by using my bone folder. So I think I did that as I was talking and didn't actually mention it. So just to give a bit of dimension. So the petals are curled up. And then you just need to stagger these so that the petals go in between each other, like so. Um, 
seen lots of cards made with this floral essence but I wanted to do something a little bit different so I hope that's what I've come up with um, and it's very much my style in that it's very clean and simple although the colours are a bit busy for me if you know what I mean but hey ho there we go right okay so now we can prepare our card base so I've got a panel here that measures 15 by 5 centimetres actually it's slightly oh no it's not slight oh that's the wrong card base that's why there's my card base there we go it's slightly longer than um, 15 centimetres so I'm just going to get some Tombow and glue that down I'm going to use a piece of paper otherwise I get glue all over my grid sheet and then everything sticks to it so I'm just going to use a bit of back scrap paper to back it there we go and so I hope you all had a chance to to jump through the blog hop yesterday um, it was really lovely so many gorgeous projects and so many ideas to using the new products from the catalogue I quite often look through a catalogue and think oh I don't know what I'd do with that and then I see what everyone else has done with it and think oh I could do that and I could do that I've just bought um a stamp set called Lily Pad Lake that was in this catalogue last year and it didn't inspire me at all but since then I've seen so many lovely samples with it and I've just made my dad a, a Father's Day card with it so quite pleased with that so it's not a new stamp set but it is a new stamp set to me and I'll be bringing you a video with that and a blog post about that very soon um, again I don't need to be too careful with it because my dad doesn't read my blog or watch my videos so I don't need to worry about that there so there's my panel and then on the each edge of the, the panel I've got this little border and this is actually a border that is from the meant to be stamp um, now I'm gonna have to think what these are called now oh, give me a minute I can't remember what those um, Oh, I can't do that one. Um, what those dies are called. I'm just going to find it for you in the old catalogue. Where are they? Oh, I don't think they'll be in there. I don't think they're in here because I think they were in the spring summer catalogue, weren't they? Oh, I'll put it on the vi I'll put it on the blog later. I can't remember what they're called. Um, no, I can't remember. I really can't remember what they're called. Right, so I need to. Um, stick this but this is a border that's from the dies that go with the meant to be set so this is the meant to be set and then there's a set of dies um, and it's this border here that I've used um, which is a really useful it's stitched and scalloped I love it really nice little edging to use on panels like this so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to put a little bit of Tombow on a dish because I'm going to put it on the back there otherwise it's going to go everywhere I only want a tiny bit of glue because I don't want glue smudged everywhere so if I use a cocktail stick and smooth it then you can use the tiniest bit of Tombow and get it where exactly where you want it without it smooching out too much so just there like so and then another one on the other side and I've done them slightly longer than I need because I always like to trim off get a nice clean edge and that's why my white panel is slightly oversized so I can trim them all off together get a nice flush edge there little touches like that that will make your cards look much more professional than if you've got a zaggedy border zaggedy edges zaggedy I don't know if that's a word really hey ho right so you can just cut and you can kind of put the the blade against the card blank and then it will give, it'll guide you to cut really straight down there there we go right so get rid of those bits might have to clean the scissors afterwards because we end up with a little bit of tombow on them um i can't get it off my finger stuck to my finger Oh, there we go um, right okay so now I'm going to put my three flowers and I am just going to measure the center of my card so it should be seven and a half in the middle there like so 
and which one am I going to put in the middle I might put the yellow one in the middle didn't use daffodil delight for my flowers last time I used gorgeous grape but um, doesn't really matter any of these lovely bright colours will go um, and then one this way one on this side and I've just staggered so one has got point pe petals pointing up like that and then that one's got pen petals pointing to the side just to fit them in nicely like so and that's nearly our card finished but we're just going to do a sentiment and I'm going to use a thank you greeting from abstract impressions stamp set and I'm going to remember to use my embossing buddy this time so just a bit of embossing buddy along there just to make sure I don't get because this is white embossing powder I'm going to use here which will make a more of a mark if it goes everywhere so I'm just going to stamp and use my white embossing powder use a spoon this time give it a blow if there is any stray stamps or if not come in with a tiny um, paintbrush and you can brush away any stray stragglers some got caught in the glue there I don't know whether that will come out there there we go and just gonna finish embossing that and that's my card made just waiting for it to catch for the, the powder to melt there really happy with that this is the one I made before and this is the one I made today so very similar just slightly different um, yeah so hope you've liked my card um, hope you're enjoying the new catalogue if you haven't got a copy of the new catalogue you'd like one and you don't already have a, a demonstrator I'd be happy to send you one so just get in touch um, or if you've got a really long wish list from the catalogue and you'd like to save some money you could think about joining my team pay £99 get £130 worth of product and then 20% discount off any other further orders give me a give me a mess send me a message if you want to find out any more really is very simple I'd love to have you in my team of paper daisies um, but that's all from me today I'll see you soon thanks for watching and have a lovely day bye